Okay, so I'm going to have a, a quick video here on the Rush FPV Blade Super 60 Amp 32-bit 4-in-1 ESC and the power filter board, which is this thing on the right. Um, I wanted to show you these components before I put them into a build. This is going to go into a 7-inch build. I'm going to build another Flywoo Mr. Croc. And that's, I'm going to actually build it with uh, the uh, Foxier F722 VT. I'm going to show you that here in a second. And I'm going to show you that in more detail in another video anyway. But, um, you know, I just want to show you these parts here before they go into a build. This power filter board here is designed to work with this uh, blade ESC together. And it goes here on this end here, say negative and positive. And yes, it goes like this. I think uh, this is probably yes, it's probably the best way, like, like so. I'm going to line up those pads and then solder there on each side and then you're going to solder your XD60 battery connector directly there and that's all the solders are going to hold that everything together there and that's how these are supposed to go together obviously this is optional you don't have to have this to use the EC but uh, in terms of what it does this is basically to reduce electrical noise and voltage spikes so you have two 35 volt 330 microfarad uh, solid capacitors here in parallel and you have three of these high voltage I think they're called high voltage diodes yeah yeah high power TVS diodes that's what they're called so I don't, I'm not a, I'm not an electrician I don't know much about uh, what these parts necessarily do I think that what this does is just cuts voltage peaks so yeah voltage peaks or voltage spikes so if you're in a using for example um, uh, an application where you're going to have a lot of voltage spikes, maybe larger motors, for example, which is what I'm going to be doing in, a, in this seven inch build. I'm using some larger 2806 and a half motors, I believe. So that may lead to some more voltage spikes based on what I'm going to be doing with it. So something like this together with uh, this particular you know, larger ESC is going to, you know, be able to handle all those additional voltage spikes and electrical noise. That's how these are supposed to work together. So that's what this guy is. And this is probably the first time I've ever seen anything like this. Hopefully it'll, uh, you know, help with the electrical noise, which will help with not necessarily with um, video noise if you have a analog system, but also even if you have like a digital system, it'll help with PID tuning because electrical noise and voltage spikes do affect your PID tuning as well. So that's something a lot of people don't really realize. It can affect your PID tuning and cause you know, tuning problems and oscillations and weird issues in terms of your flight characteristics. So this is the uh, top of the EC here. You got your uh, motors in this order here, motor one over here, two over here, three over here, and four over here, and this would be the back. 6S Max. You have very large solder pads here for your motor wires, and they're only on the top. There's nothing on the bottom. You do have this like uh, heat sink shield here on the bottom, which is nice. It does have some documentation here. Uh, does have the order order for the uh, motor wire or the wiring loom here that's the plug and uh, i'll talk about that here in a second um but yeah this is also you know it's, it's a metal it's like a metal heat sink it's also a shield for like you know if you land where there's probably some something like damp grass or wet grass water's not going to get on the bottom of the esc you know so conformal coating is probably not going to be needed although uh, you know, if you want to do it, you're going to probably have to take this thing off, and I'm pretty sure it's put on there with some pretty strong thermal paste, so you might not want to do that. So, anyway, this should definitely protect it from splashes. And then uh, it does come with two different kinds of wiring looms, and if you're using a rush flight controller, this one will work. I think this is designed, it's wired up properly, but if you're using a third party, which I'm going to be using here, Fox here, they leave the other end open and they give you two different plugs, two different size plugs, depending on what flight control you're going to be using. And what I'm going to be using here is this uh, Foxier F722V2. And the plug uh, just happened to say, oh, this is the one that fits. Yeah, this one here fits perfectly. And yeah, I don't have the, yeah, okay, so there it is. It actually shows you right on the board what all of the pins do. So they're not in the same order here as it is on the ESC. So you can see here, they're in a little bit different order. 
but that's okay because the it is actually not plugged into the actual plug yet. So you can just you know match up whatever's on this side over here. So uh, RX4 is that's going to be telemetry right there, and then you have current sensor. You can line, line up those motors one through four right here, and then you have VCC and ground, which are going to be these here. So it looks like there's two extra VCCs and grounds here on this connector. Probably not going to be using those, but all I got to do is just plug these in and match up the correct order according to the um, silk screening on both of these and should have a perfect match in terms of the connector between the 400AC and the F722 flight controller. All right, so this is how much the EAC weighs by itself. It's 16.1 uh, and then this is with the power filter board. Together it's 20.2 and the power filter board by itself is 4.1. And let's just put everything on here. So you got the, the board, the 400 AC and the power filter board, the wiring loom, the connector I'm going to be using. And then these are the gummies I'll be using. These are the holes on here are M4 holes. And then these gummies turn them holes into M3 holes. And all together uh, this here is 21.8 grams. So here's a quick look at the user manual. Um, this looks like it does come in other versions. So obviously the one they sent me here is the Super 60 amp and it's 3.6S. It's got the F350 at 160 megahertz. So I think this is the top end model. Um, and then they have these other versions of speed and the Sport 60 amps and 50 amps. And then they have a nice little wiring diagram here that shows all the outputs from that plug. So you know exactly how to wire that up to your flight controller. So that's pretty much it for this one. Uh, it's a general overview video. I will have another overview video overview video on the uh, Foxeer flight controllers. I have the 30 by 30 F722 and I have the Mini as well. So I don't know what the Mini is going to go into later, but this will be in another video. So if you guys want more details on these flight controllers, I'll be in a separate video. And then these uh, parts, the 30 by 30 F722 and, and the 401 EC is going to go into a, a, a seven inch Mr. Croc build that that's going to be coming up on the channel as well. So if you have any questions about that coming up, let me know and I'll try and answer that in the upcoming videos.